Have you ever really stopped to wonder how your graphics card and your processor talk to each other, like almost instantly? Well, it's not magic, not at all. It's a high-speed private superhighway that's built right inside your computer, and it's called PCI Express. Okay, so let's dive right in. We're gonna take a little journey down this digital highway. First, we'll look at the gnarly traffic jams it was designed to fix. Then we'll map out its structure, learn the rules of the road, take a peek at the cargo itself, and finally, we'll see why this thing is so critical for pretty much all the tech you use every single day. You know, to really get why this super highway is such a big deal, we first need to understand the absolute mess it replaced. We're talking about digital traffic jams of epic proportions. So older systems use something called a parallel bus. Now, I want you to imagine a single city street that every single car, truck, and bike has to share. If your graphics card was talking, your hard drive just had to sit there and wait. It was a total recipe for bottlenecks. PCIe just threw that whole idea out the window. It completely changed the game by giving every component its own dedicated point-to-point -point connection. This created a dual simplex superhighway, which I know sounds technical, but it just means data can travel in both directions at the exact same time. Think of it like a real highway with its own northbound and southbound lanes. No more waiting. So the key takeaway here is that PCIe wasn't just faster, it was fundamentally smarter. It introduced this brilliant scalable system of lanes. A device can use one, four, eight, or even 16 lanes to crank up its bandwidth. It's just like adding more lanes to a physical highway for more traffic. It also uses what's called a layered protocol. This is kind of like having separate departments for road construction, traffic control, and logistics. And because of this smart design, it can get faster and faster with each new generation without having to completely reinvent the wheel every time. All right, let's pull out the map of this whole highway system. Every PCIe network, or fabric as the pros call it, has three main components that make the whole thing tick. First up, you've got the root complex. This is the big one. Think of it as the capital city or the central station of our highway system. It's built right into the chipset or even the CPU itself, and it's the starting point for the entire network. Every single piece of data starts or ends its journey right here. Next up, we have the endpoints. These are all the destinations on our map. An endpoint is basically any device that needs to send or receive data. We're talking about the powerful graphics card rendering your game, that lightning fast NVMe SSD loading your files, or your high-speed network card. And what if you need to expand the network? Well, that's where switches come in. These are the really smart highway interchanges. A switch has one upstream port that connects back toward that capital city, the root complex, and a bunch of downstream ports, letting you connect way more devices and fan out the whole highway system. Okay, so here's how it all comes together. Let's imagine you're playing a game and your CPU needs a new texture from your graphics card. A request packet is sent out from the root complex and it just zooms down the highway to the GPU. The GPU grabs that data, packages it up into a completion packet and sends it right back. It's this beautiful, clean, direct, and incredibly fast round trip. Now, a superhighway this complex and this fast needs some pretty sophisticated rules to run smoothly. You can't just have data flying around all willy-nilly. So PCIe organizes these rules into three distinct layers that work together perfectly to make sure every single bit of data gets where it's going safe and sound. At the very top, you've got the transaction layer. This is like the logistics department. It assembles the data packets. Then that packet gets handed down to the data link layer, which acts like an armored truck escort. It adds sequence numbers and a special error checking code to guarantee the data is perfect. And if it detects even a tiny error, it automatically requests a do-over. And finally, all that gets passed to the physical layer. This is the road crew, the actual silicon and copper that turns these digital packets into electrical signals and sends them flying across the lanes. So we keep talking about these packets of data, but what does the cargo actually look like on this highway? Well, data doesn't just wander around on its own. 
it's neatly packaged up by that transaction layer into something called a transaction layer packet, or just TLP for short. Let's break down what one of these things looks like. I want you to think of every TLP like a package you're shipping. First, it has a header. That's your shipping label. It has the to and from address, what's inside and how big it is. Then of course, you've got the data payload. That's the actual cargo, the stuff you're sending. And then the data link layer wraps it up with two crucial things, a sequence number, which is like a tracking number, and an LCRC, which is basically a super strong tamper-proof seal to make sure the data arrives exactly as it was sent. Okay, so we've mapped the highway, we've inspected the cargo, but you might be sitting there thinking, okay, this is cool tech, but why does this really truly matter to me? Well, it matters because this highway just keeps getting wider and faster with every single generation. The raw signaling rate, which is measured in gigatransfers per second, has absolutely exploded. It started at 2.5 GTS back in 2003. Fast forward to PCIe 6.0, and we're talking a staggering 64 GTS. That's more than 25 times the raw speed in less than two decades. It's an absolutely incredible leap in how fast we can move data. And that raw speed, you feel it every single day. When you're gaming and the action is just buttery smooth with no stuttering, that's PCIe. When you're editing a massive video file and can just scrub through it instantly from your NVMe drive, Yep, that's PCIe again. And all this incredible stuff happening with AI and machine learning, it would be totally impossible without it. So when you boil it all down, here's the main takeaway. PCIe is the unsung hero of modern computing. You can have the fastest CPU in the world, the most powerful GPU money can buy, but without this constantly evolving superhighway connecting them, they'd just be sitting there, stuck in a permanent digital traffic jam, completely unable to reach their full potential. And that really leaves us with a fascinating question, doesn't it? As our digital world gets more and more complex, with AI and virtual worlds demanding just insane amounts of data, what's next? What will the superhighways of tomorrow look like to keep everything moving at the speed of thought?